A mother cardinal doesn't doze or even relax. She has the most difficult, easy job imaginable. To sit still for half an hour at a time without ever letting down her guard, take a seven or eight minute break to feed herself and look for food for the babies, then do it again all day. With the male's help, of course. She sits silently. Well, almost all the time. Cocking her head to take in every sound. Even a Carolina wren singing too close by makes her uneasy. Because she knows that other birds, jays, crows and ravens, shrikes, owls, subsist in part by eating eggs and nestlings. So do snakes, squirrels, chipmunks and raccoons. At least 60% of the gawky, blind nestlings born to songbirds every season are fated to be food. Adult songbirds have to raise two or three broods a year just to keep their species numbers stable. It ain't a Disney world out there. But Mama and Papa feed their babies and hope for the best. They pull out of the nestling's beak whatever it can't swallow, chew it some more, and put it back. With each passing day, less chewing will be needed. Right after eating, the nestlings often eject a fecal sac, a transparent balloon full of white feces and nutrients, actually. The parents carry it away or don't bother. And ew, if you're going to get grossed out, you'll want to avert your eyes for this next shot. By day four, the nestlings necks are getting stronger and they can swallow bigger chunks of food. On day five, the nest was bare. I told you it ain't a Disney world. 